Thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil for you the complete walkthrough video experience for the all-wheel drive, all-season nimble van with touring coach storage and livability, the Winnebago Echo 22A, available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and named by the manufacturer Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume for a single point location across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago, based right here in Four City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award each year consecutively since 2015. Winnebago has also named our dealership as a Flying W Platinum Status Award winner for guest service each year consistently for over 30 years. Last year, across the entire RV industry, we were named the number two camper van dealer and the number four Class C dealer competing across all RV manufacturers, even those beyond Winnebago Industries across all of North America. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford Transit chassis in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manuals in which they recommend, if possible, no towing during the first thousand miles, braking in and not driving at excessive speeds during the first 1,000 miles, varying your speed frequently and change up through the gears early, not laboring the engine. Be the first to break in your new powertrain, sleep that first night in your twin bed flex bed setup, and eat that first meal in your factory fresh Winnebago Echo, available here at Litson RV. The all wheel drive, all season Winnebago Echo combines the efficiency and nimble footprint and maneuverability of a camper van, the added capacity of a Class C coach, and the enhanced capability of all wheel drive to create not just a new RV, but an entire new way of travel. Blending the off-road rugged nomadic nature of van life with the storage and livability of traditional touring class motorhomes, the all new, all season Winnebago Echo provides unmatched off-grid and all season capabilities. Its standard all wheel drive capability goes where other motorhomes can't yet with its van size is easy to drive and easy to park. With incredible all season insulation providing R values unmatched in the RV industry with a roof R value of 14.7, a sidewall of 7.6, 6.6 in the floor and 7.6 in the compartment doors, all of which are set atop an insulative 1.25 inch floor. The Echo Foundation begins with the fuel-efficient, safety-enhanced Ford Transit chassis. It's powered by the 3.5-liter direct fuel injection, dual-turbocharged Ford EcoBoost V6, boasting 400 pounds-feet of torque or power, 310 horsepower for get-up-and-go off-the-line acceleration, made it up with a 10-speed automatic select-shift transmission with overdrive and grade-breaking capabilities. Keep in mind that this is the high output Ford EcoBoost dual turbocharged V6 as opposed to the standard Ford 3.5 liter that other RV manufacturers use. Standard on-demand all-wheel drive engages when the Echo detects slippage and sends torque or power to the wheels that need them and doesn't when it's not needed to improve fuel economy. Selectable modes are available for muddy, rutted or slippery surfaces with the capability of sending 100% torque to a needed axle. Underneath, a second under the hood alternator will recharge the Lithionics battery in under two hours. We'll cover that as we get into more detail in the off-grid capabilities. The coach features independent front suspension up front, electric power assisted steering, as well as the latest and safety enhancements that you come to expect in your light duty car or truck including blind spot alerts, lane keep assist with alert or assist mode combined with driver fatigue alerts, adaptive cruise control and forward collision warning, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, post-collision braking, advanced track with roll stability control, automatic rain sense wipers, 
side wind stabilization, hillside assist, automatic high beam headlights, a tire pressure monitoring system, dual front and safety canopy side curtain airbags, secure lock anti-theft system with engine immobilizer. You can see up front here, high intensity discharge or HID headlamps with the blacked out forward front honeycomb grille. Each of these side mirrors then will piggyback against the sidewall of the van. This is the carbonized gray exterior color of the Winnebago Echo. The carbonized gray cab chassis then comes from Ford Motor Company and then rearward of that you'll have your choice of two exteriors. This being the graphics delete with the verdant exterior. It's also available in raw sienna with or without graphics. Off-grid capabilities for the Winnebago Echo include an innovative dual charge lithionics battery paired up with standard a Cummins Onan 2800i generator. There are three different configurations of this. Standard is a single lithionics 320 amp hour battery providing 4096 watt hours of available usage. It's then paired up with a Cummins Onan 2800i fuel efficient generator National Park friendly with only 65 decibels at 10 feet at 50% load. Very fuel efficient, only pulling 0.34 gallons of fuel off the top three quarters of that 31 gallon fuel capacity. It will provide 111 hours of runtime at half load off of a single tank of fuel. But again, with that inverter converter, then it will recharge the Lithionics battery. A second option would be for us to install a second Lithionics 320 amp hour battery providing 8,192 watt hours of available power. Using our master RVTI certified trained technicians with us being a Lithionics factory installer. The third option then would be to delete that generator and include dual 320 amp hours Lithionics batteries for off the grid use. Now, as we zoom into the cab area, you'll see light duty automotive conveniences such as side turn signal indicators, the top two thirds of which this side mirror is powered and heated, that lower one third, including the parabolic wide angle technology. Down below, you'll find matte black stylized aluminum wheels with Hankook Dynapro all season HT tires. These are 205-75R 16 inch tires. You'll see throughout the Echo, all of the exposed bare metal is either galvanized or E-plated and E-coated in the latest in E-coat technology. We'll cover that in detail here in a moment. Just behind this driver's door then is where the fuel fill is for the upgraded 31 gallon fuel tank, which is an option that Winnebago selects from Ford Motor Company. Underneath here then we'll cover the single 320 amp hour Lithionics battery. Again, three options. The first being the single battery with the Cummins Onan generator. That's standard from Winnebago. The second then being us installing a second 320 amp hour battery. And the beauty of this Lithionics battery is it is the only battery in the RV industry featuring UL1973 certification for safety. It includes never die power reserve technology. You can view within the Lithionics app all diagnostic data including amounts of energy available left inside the battery. You can charge this battery at any temp at 32 degrees or above. It does include the internal battery management system and internal heat so it will actually heat the battery at 37 to 41 degrees and you can discharge or use this battery at minus 4 degrees. Just forward of this Cummins Zone and Generator is where you saw the macerator drain pump. Some will refer to this as a whale pump or whale gulper. This provides floor plan flexibility for the gray capacity coming off of the shower area to actually pump back to the elevated 51 gallon gray tank. 
50 gallons of total fresh water are available. And then this is a five gallon cassette toilet that can be drained at any national park septic pit, over the road truck stops, resorts, campgrounds. It can also be used in a common household toilet. So great flexibility here. We also offer a very inexpensive accessory that allows you to drain your five gallon cassette toilet into a standard RV drainage hose using an Americanizer accessory. We also offer additional cassettes if you would like more capacity than five gallons, which is approximately the same that you'd find inside a camper van. Dual rear wheels then provide great stability. And then this is the exhausting for the Truma Vario heat, which is an extremely energy efficient heat source. One of the beauties of this is that it is operational at higher altitudes. It's tested for functionality at 9,000 feet above sea level and operational at 11, but very energy efficient with three different modes. The first being operating level one, which is 4,700 BTUs, pulling only three and a half ounces of LP per hour. Operating level two is 8,900 BTUs at 6.7 ounces per hour. And then operating level three is 11,500 BTUs, pulling only 8.6 ounces of LP per hour. This is in comparison to a traditional RV furnace that pulls 43 ounces or one third of a gallon per hour. So very energy efficient in terms of fuel, also very low power consumption, pulling only 0.65 amps at operating level one, reaching up to five amps if at max capacity at 11,500 BTUs. You'll see then to the right of that, the 30 amp detachable shoreline power cord and additional quick ports to add additional portable solar capacity ground level. We'll jump up here on the roof here in a moment to cover the factory installed solar that's available for the Echo. This 30 amp shoreline power then will recharge that Lithionics battery system using the Xantrax pure sine wave inverter converter. There you see a vent for the 51 gallon gray tank. One of the great things about the Echo is all of your water systems and access for outside utilities are at an ergonomic level. So very easy to access. You don't have to bend over, get underneath the class C very easy to access all at hip or shoulder level. Up top is where you'll see a gravity potable water fill to fill the total 50 gallons of freshwater capacity. Again, all the water lines, all of the tanks, the lithium system are all inside the van being heated by the Truma Vario heat. You'll also see an innovative setup with the Nautilus freshwater panel off to the right. You'll see coaxial inputs for portable satellite, although we can pre-wire the coach for and install any type of satellite technology for you. We'll cover that as we get up on the roof. You also have inputs for resort or campground cable. An outside shower provides both hot and cold water with innovative color-coded valves that make it easy to know how you're using the water systems, whether you're dry camping off-grid, power filling the 50 gallon freshwater tank from the same connection, if you're connected to city water, if you need to winterize the van, and when you wanna sanitize that 50 gallon holding tank. Off to the right then you'll find a 12 volt on-demand water pump switch. The outside shower comes with a quick connect coiled water hose, a convenient overhead courtesy light. So if you're connecting in the dark, you have easy access to all of these hookups. You'll see the city water fill or city water input then down below. All of this drains in the largest three and a half inch PVC drainage system in the industry for a quicker, more sanitary drainage. Here you'll find a diffuser for the Truma Vario heat so you can regulate the heat in this outside water panel. Winterization valves, and then you can see the drainage down below, including a freshwater tank drain. And the ability to drain your five gallon cassette tank through that drainage hose, but then also to complete the drainage to cleanse out your sewer hose with that 50 gallon gray tank capacity. 
Again, all at an ergonomic hip and shoulder level. Of course, all of the PEX lines used by Winnebago are residential quality tubing with quick disconnect and compression connectors at key locations, ensuring sturdy leak-proof connections. In conjunction with that manifold system, increases water pressure or PSI, but also reduces leaks up to 75% compared to a traditional Class C coach. Great off-grid capacities are also included with this enormous gear garage. In total, the Winnebago Echo includes 65.3 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. It is slightly reduced if you opt for the factory installed upgrade of the tailgate package to 54.6 cubic feet of exterior and basement storage. This gear garage is heated with the diffuser off the Truma Vario heat. It includes a 110 volt outlet as well as a 12 volt power point. And it is illuminated with this LED lighting and throughout the Echo LED lighting is used, which is 70% more energy efficient compared to incandescent or halogen lighting. A large gear garage with a removable tray and l track system that allows each of these different buckles to secure your cargo, whether that be overlanding gear, bicycles, e-bikes, whatever it may be, each of these buckles holds a total of 80 pounds per buckle. Industrial non-slip flooring over that 1.25 inch floor. Again, with a floor of a 6.6 R value. Easy access, you can also regulate the heat inside the gear garage. And then it includes on each of the side doors molly panels so that you can carabine or hook all of your gear on the side of that door and then close it up. And with each of the positive lock latching systems for each of those compartments, which are extremely thick and energy efficient with a 7.6 R value, they actually suck the door in to remove any capability of dust, debris, or water penetrating the Echo. Up top is the luggage rack with rear ladder. And again, each of these bars has a 40 pound per bar capacity. We'll cover that as we get up on the roof of the RV. Dual pane thermal insulated canopy style or jalousy style windows allow for fresh air ventilation even during nominal rain. Here you'll see the factory installed upgrade of the Alu Cab canopy. We're gonna cover that and open that up here in a moment. But as we zoom back out, we'll cover some additional specifications. The Winnebago Echo is 23 feet in length. It is only seven feet, three inches in width and 10 feet, six inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof of the 22A. It includes a higher gross vehicle weight rating at 11,000 pounds, providing 1,495 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity. It is slightly diminished if you opt for the overhead pop top studio loft sleeping. You'll have 1,407 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity. Each of these sidewalls then include Asdell RV composite panels. Many benefits of a composite panel over traditional Luon plywood still being used by competing manufacturers. It's half the weight for improving fuel efficiency and cargo carrying capacity. It doesn't grow mold, mildew, and will not rot. And no delamination will occur when used to specifications. And now Jason Brookoff, one of our sales assistants here at Litz and RV will demonstrate this Alu Cab canopy. Alu Cab has over 23 years of firsthand experience in identifying needs and building high quality rugged products to fulfill those needs. The Alu Cab canopy is a pioneer design that began in South Africa for overlanding and is the first ever aluminum adventure canopy made. The backbone is Alu Cab where that journey began, where most overlanders also begin their journey. You can very simply unzipper this and it'll pull out to be a 270 degree awning with an aluminum support towards the corner. The material in the Alu Cab canopy is acrylic impregnated with a heat reflection silver coating on one side. It does also have an additional water repellent coating on the surface side which allows water to bead off the surface material. It is a polyester based cloth, and then again impregnated in acrylic based resin. 
It also features built-in fungal resistance chemical to prevent mold. The water penetration or water column capability of the awning canvas is greater than 1,000 millimeters. Very simple to set up and again providing 270 degrees of total surface canopy protection. You can then stake this aluminum support down inside the ground in the event that you do have some winds come up on your outdoor adventures. But just great coverage covering the driver's side area as well as the rear wall. You can then pitch that up for water runoff. And now we'll actually bring that alu cab back in. Very simple to store. First lowering the pitch, then bringing the foundation leg back in. Very lightweight because it is aluminum. This will then snap back into place. And then unhook the security tie that you had on the rear wall of the Echo. And then it very simply slides back up against and stores in the bag. If you can actually roll this acrylic material up as you go, it will actually store easier inside that vinyl rugged bag that is included. It is then also mounted inside the Winnebago superstructure. The su super stru structure from Winnebago industry includes all of the steel firewall interlocking components, interlocking joints, evenly supporting the weight of a one piece laminate block foam roof along the entire span of the wall. So it provides that stability. This aloe cab being then mounted inside that same steel infrastructure that is also used for all of the cabinets and appliances being mounted into steel compared to traditional Luon plywood like other manufacturers continue to use. Now as we button up the alu cab, We'll cover some additional specifications. The coach does also include a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package with a 500 pound vertical tongue weight. We'll cover that as we showcase the factory installed tow package here to the rear. As we zip up the alu cab, you can see how it then meets in the middle. Now, as we work our way back to the sidewall, again, these are Asdell composite sidewalls. They're not affected by freezing and warming cycles because they are composite compared to Luon like other manufacturers use. They provide twice the insulation value, a better sound barrier, no deforestation occurs during production and provides a much longer RV life expectancy. This particular Echo also includes the factory installed option of the storage rack with rear ladder. Again, providing great capacity. We'll cover all the components as we get up on the roof, but providing 40 pounds per bar of storage capacity. To the rear here, you'll see the rear view camera monitoring system that ties in nicely with the Ford sync system up front with an 8.95 inch color multi-function touchscreen. Nice sneak preview there to the depth of the Colorado Carefree powered patio awning, which is standard but can be deleted as a factory installed option, but 13 feet in length with great depth. You can see the ease of access here to the rear gear garage with those gas struts that will keep that door up, so providing much easier access in and out of the garage. You can see the radiant heat that then is provided to the Freshwater components, including the diffuser to the rear that you can regulate to keep that gear garage warm off the energy efficient Truma Barrio heat. Down below, a nice step up automotive style bumper. Again, e-coated in the latest in e-coat technology. 
For over 30 years, Winnebago has led a volunteer effort in rust protection with the E-Coat process after a multi-million dollar infrastructure upgrade. You can see that here on the factory installed tow package. E-Coating is the process used by leading automotive manufacturers such as General Motors, Honda, and Acura. You can see here the spare tire. During this E-Coat process, the critical steel structural components are processed through a multi-stage full immersion electro-coating system, a 10-stage process where each part is submerged in 10 different chemical tanks. Every part is submerged for four minutes in each tank, providing a uniform electro-plated coating system. You can see the exhausting there for the Ford Transit powertrain. And as we zoom back out, we'll elevate up, unlike any dealer here in North America, to showcase Winnebago's proprietary one-piece laminate block foam roof. This roof is so thick that it provides stability to walk on it. It includes an R value of 14.7. It's also pre-wired for connectivity or satellite enhancements, which we'll cover here in detail. It also includes a 10-year warranty, and as we zoom in, we'll work our way from the rear to the front. To the rear is a one-piece, omnidirectional, local off-air, high-definition antenna that allows you to bring in your local stations inside the Echo, with or without the interior entertainment options for all of those free local off-air, high-definition programming. It also includes this 13,500 BTU high-efficiency air conditioning system that is ducted. Great solar capabilities to recharge that lithionic system. It includes 450 watts without the overhead pop top studio loft, 455 watts in total with two 170 panels and one 115 watt panel. It's also expandable towards the ground level that we covered with the quick ports. Also, then with this, the overhead pop top studio loft, it includes an additional sleeping capacity but then also includes a 220 watt flexi mat panel. Forward of that then is the Max Air Premium Vent System that provides great fresh air ventilation, especially in conjunction with those dual pane canopy or jalousy style awning windows, including a steel aluminum based door in the front that does have a deadbolt so that when you're inside the Echo, you can leave that open and still have the security of a deadbolt. And then forward of that is the antenna for the Sirius XM satellite radio, which is part of the Ford Sync 3 navigation system. Also keep in mind rooftop, we can add any of the three types of connectivity enhancements to keep you connected when you're off grid, off road, including Wi-Fi boosters. A midpoint then would be a cellular booster, such as a WeBoost that will boost 4G and 5G traditional carrier service to a hotspot to provide internet connectivity. Or we can connect a WineGuard Connect 2.0 that provides not only Wi-Fi boosting, but also a dedicated 24-7 internet network from WineGuard using your local carrier, whether that be AT&T, Verizon, or T-Mobile, or other carriers. Or we can also equip the Echo with Starlink satellite internet, whether that be a stationary automatic antenna, or even an in motion with portability. We can also connect any type of satellite technology, whether that be a WineGuard or WineGuard Traveler. So be sure to check out our video library on Litson.com where we have several different live interactive presentations that are archived for connectivity and satellite technology to keep you connected on the road. Now, as we work our way towards the patio side of the Echo 22A, we'll wrap up with a balance of 65.3 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. And again, 54.6 if you opt for the tailgate package just rearward of the entry door. That tailgate package includes the exterior range, refrigerator and freezer with a manual draining sink. Large viewing windows are included on each of the twin beds, driver and patio side with these dual pane acrylic style windows that are jealousy or canopy style. They very simply pop out and stay in place that you can still get fresh air ventilation and keep open during nominal rain. 
This is the patio side access to that oversized gear garage at 54 cubic feet just in the gear garage alone. Side molly panels allow you to carabine storage inside each of those doors and then close those and you can see how tight these door latches then compress that side compartment door that does have a 7.6 R value inside the Echo to keep road debris and water out. Another 110 volt outlet, 12 volt power point and LED light towards the rear of the gear garage. Again, great cargo carrying capacity with nearly 1500 pounds without the overhead pop top studio loft and 1,470 pounds with the overhead pop top studio sleeping loft. You can see the radiant heat to keep all of the water lines, all of your tanks enclosed inside the Echo for great all season, nimble off grid use. There you can see the blind spot monitoring for the Ford chassis. Up top here, you'll see the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus, which provides energy efficient hot water to the Echo, but includes a very unique feature, which is important compared to competing manufacturers. This includes a recirculation loop. So as you open a spigot or a faucet, you're not gonna burn two to three gallons getting hot water to that particular spigot or faucet location. It'll be on demand continuous hot water. It also includes the decalcification cleaning mode and winterization kit. Underneath the Truma AquaGo then is where you'll see the LP capacity for the Echo with 40 pounds total. Two 20 pound cylinders that are easily exchanged at any home improvement store, over the road truck stop or grocery store. They also include an automatic changeover valve so that you don't have to manually do that, but very simple and easy to find propane. Again, at all home improvement stores, light duty, over the road truck stops, and even grocery stores. So then this area is vented, so you'll see a slightly different compartment door, not quite as thick or insulative as the others. Down below then, Winnebago ties in an LPG gas grill quick connect so that you can connect an outdoor grill or even a Blackstone griddle. But one of the intentional locations to this is so that you can move it patio side or even towards the rear wall to maneuver any exterior wind whip. above the rear dual wheels here to the rear is a convenient 110 volt duplex, a 12 volt power point and a coaxial output to connect a patio side television. A great storage compartment here, approximately 10 cubic feet. This is eliminated if you opt for the tailgate option, an innovative outside shower location here as well so that in the event that you do want to hose off your cargo, your shoes, your pets before entering the Echo, you can still turn on the water pump outside and still use this outside shower with hot and cold water without having to trance through your Echo. You can see another drainage line, again, color coded for hot and cold. The same industrial non-slip flooring here on the outside with great insulation Again, a 7.6 in the door and 6.6 in the floor. Standard then forward of that is the electric entry step. And a great entry door here with a combination of metal and aluminum screen door that does include a deadbolt. This is not a traditional screen material. It is solid aluminum on the inside so that pets won't damage your screen, but you can also leave this door closed, lock the deadbolt inside, and still take advantage of all that fresh air in your outdoor environment. Another LED courtesy light is included overhead this entry step well. A great feature there with that deadbolt with its own unique key. Now, as we work our way back out, you'll see the Colorado Carefree 13-foot powered patio awning, which does include independent LED lighting, 
You can control this inside the step well or with the Colorado Carefree app for both Android and iOS. You can also dim the lights using the app and bring that awning in or out. But great depth and great length at 13 feet. Continuing on then with the dual pane thermal insulated windows alongside the patio side. Of course, we cover all of the operation for the Echo during our award-winning educational orientations where we'll spend a half day with you one-on-one -on -one with a master RVTI certified technician. And it serves a couple of purposes. First of all, it allows you to thoroughly inspect the coach but we do use a scripted fashion, scripted in nature so that we don't miss anything. We'll start here at the entry of the Echo, work our way clockwise around the Echo, do the same inside and end up in the front then with a demo drive. Again, that is your time to spend understanding every feature, every switch, what to do, what not to do, and covering maintenance and warranty. And now as we work our way inside the Winnebago Echo 22A, we'll cover one sweeping shot of this floor plan and then we'll cover things in more detail. You'll see this particular Echo is in the Veritas interior with slate cabinetry. We do also offer the Winnebago Echo in the Juniper interior, as you see here with weathered teak cabinetry. Either way, each of these cabinets are manufactured in-house by Winnebago Industries using vertical integration so that not only can they control tolerances in fit and finish, but also using computer-aided design, maximize storage inside a nimble footprint. A full-featured kitchen or galley area starts here with an oversized stainless steel sink and dual burner range top with a large over-the-range microwave, a large 5.3 cubic foot compressor-driven refrigerator and freezer, dual twin beds at 32 by 76 inches that convert into a 60 by 80 inch queen bed, an innovative dry and wet bath and shower area with a pivoting wall that will keep things dry when you use this as a shower. And then up front, you'll see each of these front seats rotate to become integral lounge chairs to the van or class C, including residential style booster cushions for a more residential fit or feel when using those as additional lounge chairs. And now we'll cover each of the main living areas inside the Echo in more detail. You'll see all of the leather used is the ultra fabric synthetic leather. So it's very weather temperative, meaning not so hot in the summer, not so cold during the winter, but you can also be fairly aggressive in terms of cleaning. Forward facing three point safety belt equipped seats for the front area. Also include a fold down table so that you can use that with a infant car seat or booster seat. Overhead then, again, all of these cabinets are manufactured by Winnebago Industries using aluminum welded design, interlocked into the sidewall of the Echo and including positive slam latch technology to keep things closed. But when open, they stay up on an innovative strut. You can see inside this compartment where you'll find the curtain and then also the homeowner's bag. We'll also cover the thermal cab partition insulative thermal break between the front cab and the main living area. It also includes the pre-wire quick port for adding any types of internet connectivity or satellite technology. Here you'll see Euro style cassette shade system includes opaque privacy blackout but then also insect protection when you use that tip out canopy or jealousy style awning window. We'll dim this LED light so you can see the window and cassette shade system even better. Very quiet as you travel down the road, but provide great insect penetration protection, but also the cassette opaque privacy blackout for privacy during the evening. So there you can see the insect screen. And then if we bring that all the way up, you can actually open those windows in multiple ratcheting style extensions. Each of these locks you very simply open. 
There's two on each side to provide a tight fit and eliminate any wind whip in travel. You can see the multiple locations that they can stop at and then if you open it all the way and bring it back down it will close it and then you can lock it up with those four locations. But again dual pane insulated windows acrylic in nature so you do have to be careful in terms of how you cleanse them to ensure that you don't scratch them but great dual pane properties for additional insulation both audio and insulative for climate control the sidewalls including that 7.6 R value with the roof at 14.7 and the floor at 6.6 This is also where the access would be for the overhead pop top studio loft. With the Luno Life cab airbed, the coach has a three person sleeping capacity and five if you opt for the overhead pop top studio loft. Again, dual forward facing seats with three point safety belts, armrests on each outboard side. A very soft, cushiony flooring. Very comfortable on your feet when you don't have your shoes on. But again, great insulation with that thick 1.25 inch floor with a 6.6 R value. Here you can see this table glides up to provide a dinette area with the capability of placing four people around this in conjunction with those dual front seats, each of which rotate as you can see to become integral lounge chairs with the residential booster height. Each of those cab seats feature an armrest, fixed lumbar support, headrest, they recline, slide, and swivel. You can see the kitchen and galley area then includes the under cabinet lighting, an innovative swivel and adjustable galley extension or work table is included right in front of that passenger seat. Up top, a MaxAir premium vent system is thermostatically controlled and also serves as your exhaust fan for the kitchen or galley area. An upgraded vinyl padded ceiling provides the capability of cleaning. You can see the ductwork for the 13.5 high efficiency air conditioning system. Working our way inside the step well area, again that metal screen door, but then all of your gauges in one easy to access location. Controls up top here for the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter providing electricity for all of the electrical outlets, air conditioning system, microwave directly off of that Lithionics battery, whether it be a single or dual. You can see the Zamp solar charge controller that provides 450 watts rooftop, 220 with the flexi mat if you opt for the pop top studio loft, but then also quick port expansion capabilities that you saw on the driver's side. The one place panel down below provides coach battery readouts. You can also view that in the Lithionics app, including runtime. Controls to start or stop that Cummins Onan 2800i fuel injected gasoline generator, again, functioning off of the top three quarters of the expanded 31 gallon fuel tank. Winnebago also invests in precision circuits pressure sensors for the holding tanks that will read out in 1% increments and also provide temperature alerts of your tanks. Unlike other RV manufacturers that are still drilling through tanks that they have to purchase from third parties using probes, all of the tanks are manufactured in-house by Winnebago Industries using polyethylene components, using a mold tool that provides that powder and placed inside that mold with the liquid and as it cools it coats the tool and forms one single shape. So a seamless one piece rotocast tank and once cooled that tank is then pressure tested to ensure it passes quality tests. Compared to other manufacturers that have to purchase their tanks from third party suppliers and design their floor plan around a holding tank, Winnebago can build a holding tank that might look like a Tetris piece around the floor plan, maximizing holding tank and freshwater tank capacities. Again, 50 gallons of total freshwater capacity and 51 gallons in the gray. Great kitchen cabinet storage here. Again, all aluminum welded into the infrastructure sidewall with that proprietary superstructure construction, a large over the range microwave. You 
It does also include that rotisserie plate. A great large expansive dual pane window underneath this right out towards your patio side. Providing great fresh air ventilation, especially in conjunction with that Max Air Premium vent system, which is sealed so that you can use during rainfall. It includes the marine vent. So it is sealed on that side. Here you can see a single control kitchen faucet with a pull-out sink sprayer for easy maintenance, easy cleaning. Beautiful under cabinet mounted lighting. Here you'll find a dual burner range top with an innovative glass cooktop cover that already maximizes what is a tremendous amount of galley kitchen countertop space in a nimble footprint, but also provides an easy to clean backsplash and stainless steel basin for easy cleaning. Off to the left then a large stainless steel sink with this single control kitchen faucet. A sink top cover not only provides additional countertop space, but flips over to provide an innovative cutting board. Easy to clean stainless steel sink. You can see that pull out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. And then inside the step wall, all of your controls that you'll need to maneuver in and out of the Echo, including controls for the Colorado Carefree powered patio awning and lighting. An auxiliary battery disconnect switch to place those lithionic batteries in isolation to ensure no parasitic draw, a great storage tool. The ability to leave your entry step off so that you don't have it coming in and out as you enter or exit the van. You can see the diffusers there for the Truma Vario heat and great kitchen drawer stacks, all of which are full length extensions with metal drawer glides compared to competing manufacturers that are still tripping over pennies and nickels using plastic drawer glides. These are manufactured in-house by Winnebago Industries. You can see an additional GFI protected 110 volt outlet for kitchen appliances, conveniently located right near your kitchen countertop area additional Truma diffusers for that Vario heat and then underneath the dual burner range top areas where you'll see the water purification system and the sewer hose accessory just temporarily stored here but the water purification system includes residential style replacement filters that are available at any home improvement store so easy to replace you can see the PEX lines that are run again residential style quality tubing to not only increase water pressure but to minimize any type of a leak proof connection area compared to competing manufacturers that are still using plumbing clamps with compression. Here you can see a large 5.3 cubic foot compressor driven refrigerator and freezer. The beauty of a compressor driven refrigerator and freezer is that it can be used at higher altitudes. It also does not need to be perfectly level compared to absorption or LP style refrigerators. And when at temp, and not opening and closing the door consistently, it only pulls the same amount of power as a 100 watt light bulb. So great storage capacities here inside this refrigerator and freezer. Another 110 volt outlet off to the left there, right near that kitchen countertop area. And then underneath is your breaker panel for 110 volt as well as 12 volt breakers. And then down below an LP detector because LP drops. The coach of course includes the smoker fire alarm up front and a carbon monoxide detector inside the rear bedroom area. You can see additional Truma diffusers. Each of these are laser routed with ductwork to provide quiet tuned air delivery from the Truma Vario heat. You can see the curtain for privacy to the master bedroom that includes dual twin beds, each of which are 32 by 76 inches. They convert then to a 60 by 80 inch queen bed. Here you can see the cold air intake for the high efficiency 13,500 BTU 
High efficiency ducted air conditioning system, again, operational off of the Lithionics battery system. With great storage here in the master bedroom, a convenient workstation, armrest, gaming table, laptop table, then flips over to convert into a queen bed. You can see each of the cabinets then overhead also include routing from that 110 volt outlet using the office style port with 12 volt power points and USB power points for your smartphones or tablets, of course, all of which we charge near our headboard. Directional reading lamps then are included on each side that include a blue light for a nightlight style, but then provide also, if you hold that power button down, a bright LED reading lamp. The same type then of power availability is off towards the driver's side bed. There you can see the 110 volt outlet, 12 volt power point and USB power points. One of the reasons why those are inside this cabinet is this is the location for the roof access port, so the pre-wire port, so to speak, so that we can add any type of connectivity enhancement for Wi-Fi boosting, cellular boosting, or any type of satellite internet. Using our master RVTI trained certified technicians here at Litson RV. Each of these beds then also feature the wind sleep system with deep freeze plus technology featuring serene foam that draws excess heat from the body to create a cool, comfortable sleeping environment. Plush Superior Foam provides exceptional pressure relief and support through supportive air technology. It all rests atop a Froley independent spring adjustable spring base that provides great fresh air ventilation compared to competing RV manufacturers that still place a vinyl backed bed over plywood. This bedding is CertiPure US tested and certified foam made with non-toxic materials and no ozone depleters. And again, with that Froley suspension offers flexible support, increased comfort and circulating air below the wind sleep system, providing a drier, cooler mattress. Great storage underneath here with a shirt hanging rod. You'll see some of the accessories that ship with the Echo inside this box just temporarily. the radiant heat to keep all of those tanks nice and warm with the all season insulation for the Echo. Again, full length extensions with metal drawer glides under each of the twin beds that convert to a queen. Same oversized style dual pane insulated window for the driver side twin bed. And then also pre-wire for adding an additional rear television with a coaxial input into the television, or you could very simply stream anything you'd like with a lightweight, high definition LED smart TV. Of course, Winnebago's technology provides all of the wiring diagrams and backbones inside those walls so that we know where to add a television. Underneath this location, you'll see the cutout in the floor for the 12 volt on-demand water pump for ease of access. And then also another shirt hanging rod Of course, this area is also heated off of the True Mavario heat with a three-stage burner. Low amp draw and also extremely energy efficient. When used at just the main level, you're going to find it's going to pull about 6.7 ounces of LP per hour compared to a traditional RV furnace that pulls 43, so very energy efficient. Nice step up area here into the twin bed setup, and again, that converts into a queen bed. You can see a courtesy light then is included for illuminating those stairs, for being able to use the bathroom in the evening. Very simple to convert this into a queen bed. This workstation or laptop table very simply just glides over. 
And whereas you would have two 32 by 76 inch twin beds, once this slides inside the slats on each side, and just doing this with one hand with the video camera, once the press down, then bam, you have a traditional 60 by 80 inch queen bed. And you'll see inside the aisle here also your controls for the high efficiency ducted air conditioning system as well as the Truma Vario Heat, as well as the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus. That Truma AquaGo provides continuous on-demand, energy efficient hot water with that recirculation loop. You can see the sensor for the thermostat. Inside the Truma panel, however, all of these are available with time adjustable settings so that you're not wasting LP, although it is extremely energy efficient, Wasting LP if you're sleeping or away from the Echo. And then you can see here the controls for the high efficiency ducted air conditioning system, a rich faux style colored wallboard with well laid out lighting switches for the front and rear right inside the hallway here. The first innovative dual dry and wet bath right behind this door includes not only this, a traditional bathroom with a swivel toilet, a full lavatory area, but all of this area here being used as a traditional bathroom in dry mode it includes that full mirror, additional welded cabinetry with slam latch technology, another window for fresh air ventilation, can see here that medicine cabinet or linen closet. See the same Euro insect protection and blackout screen system. Then down below you'll find a 110 volt outlet that can be used for lavatory appliances, a tissue holder. Winnebago providing all the accessories that you need inside your bath including that tissue holder as well as several different hooks compared to competing manufacturers that make you go out and purchase those. This includes a swivel cassette style toilet, which then drains into that five gallon black tank cassette that you saw, easily drainable at any resort, campground, any septic pit for the national park system, but then also just a traditional residential toilet. A teak spa style floor mat is included for the shower area. It's actually sealed marine plywood, so it actually is very endurant and long lasting. It includes a 12 volt on-demand water pump switch so that if you do use the washroom and forgot to turn your water pump on, you can still clean your hands before you leave the bathroom. You can see the shower curtain here that provides an innovative wet shower with the pivoting wall and a large 24 by 30 inch shower area. This entire lavatory cabinet very simply glides on this pivoting wall. Proven in terms of durability, not having warranty claims from this lavatory, you might think with it being on a pivoting wall, but very well made. There you can see that 12 volt on-demand water pump switch that we covered. The pivoting lavatory wall then just glides towards the forward portion of the Echo keeps all of that area nice and dry and then provides a 24 by 30 inch shower with a one piece pan and a one piece surround for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. A flexible handheld Oxygenics shower head provides higher PSI and better regulation with anti scalding technology. You can start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when off grid RVing but great freshwater capacity with 50 total gallons of freshwater capacity. Additional hook attachments, a nice step up area. And then again, all of this is atop that sealed marine plywood. Sealed so it's long lasting. And again, just an innovative pivoting lavatory wall. 
that provides the wet side for the shower area and then a traditional dry off towards the forward portion. So a great setup inside the bathroom. Normally in this type of a footprint, you would have a complete wet bath. Again, being built with computer-aided design, Winnebago will place storage anywhere possible for its RVers. This one including adjustable shelving, but you can see the innovative shape, again, using computer-aided design with that vertical integration construction process being built in-house. As we work our way forward, we're also going to cover now a thermal cab partition wall that snaps into the front cockpit area. This provides a complete thermal break from the front cab area during the evening because that glass inside the cab is automotive safety glass, so it's not dual pane like the acrylic windows inside the living area. So it provides a great thermal break with a zippered area so you can still quickly access the front cockpit area. If you need something, you can very simply zip that up and it's easy to access. But provides a great thermal break from the cab area to the main living area. If you're in sub-zero temperatures, this can be a great thermal break also eliminating any condensation inside the van. Very simply snaps in and out of place. It is a dense, fairly heavy material because it does provide that thermal break. Again, that is the thermal cab partition wall. As we return now, great storage included in the overhead transition from the cab cutaway to the echo living area. Forward just above that dinette table is where you saw the 110 volt outlet, 12 volt power point and USB charge points. Storage is included on each side of the overhead area. Of the optional front entertainment system, you can see where the thermal cab partition wall is currently being stored. This includes a 24 inch high definition television with a wireless soundbar down below that can be used with Bluetooth pairing to your smartphone or tablet to listen to all of your audio, but also from the high definition television. Again, unique storage throughout the entire front area underneath the sound bar here. And then towards the patio side of that storage area, you'll see a Sony Blu-ray streaming media player with smart app technology. So you can download apps and stream them off of that Blu-ray player. It also includes the local off-air booster switch, which you can see currently illuminated, as well as additional HDMI cabling direct to that high-definition television to connect a camera, a video camera, a different type of player, whatever you'd like for your high-definition 24-inch television. Additional 12-volt USB and 110-volt outlets just above the passenger here. A great shot here of the swivel and adjustable galley extension and work table. This can be used as a standing desk, additional meal prep space, or as a laptop station for the passenger. Again, each of these seats rotate to become integral lounge chairs to the Echo with the cab seat cushions to provide a more residential height. Those will then buckle on the rearward portion of each of the cab seats that do include an armrest, fixed lumbar support, headrest, and they recline, slide, and swivel. Of course, there are three-point safety belts. Inside the cockpit area then, the forward sink system also includes keyless entry along with the push button start. We'll turn on the accessory mode here to showcase each of the locations inside the Echo cockpit, which again is the Ford Transit powertrain. Featuring the high output twin turbo Ford EcoBoost system, including a 10-speed automatic transmission with select shift technology to manually shift the vehicle if you'd like, if you're off grid, but also grade braking capabilities. The steering column then provides access for the adaptive cruise control as well as redundant controls for the Ford Sync system off to the right. With Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for hands-free operation of your cell phone, SMS or text messaging, but also controls for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. You can see the LCD color instrumentation panel. Factory fresh with this particular transit having 32 miles on it. 
light duty automotive conveniences with powered door locks, powered windows, tilt and adaptive cruise control. Again, these are high intensity discharge HID front headlamps with automatic high beam control. See controls for the fog lamps, as well as additional cup holders throughout the front cockpit of the Transit. Sliding over then you have a USB-C input and a 12 volt power point that can be used. So if you're using something different such as a Garmin or if you have a dash cam, you could connect those using a 12 volt power point up front. The Ford Sync system then includes a colored multifunction touchscreen with sync navigation, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, AM FM stereo with HD radio and also Sirius XM satellite radio. Of course, it includes Bluetooth capability, voice recognition, dual USB ports. Here you can see the advanced navigation that's Ford supplied, although you can use Google Maps or Apple Maps through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can see the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls at the bottom portion. But a large 8.95 inch touchscreen. You can see controls for the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system and hazard lighting, again with a USB and 12 volt power point. Additional cup holders. A lockable glove box. Here you can see controls for that 10 speed transmission with grade braking capability to use the power of that transmission to assist in slowing you down to ease wear and tear in your brakes and keeping your brakes nice and cool if you're traveling in high grade situations. Off to the right then the same conveniences including cup holders, additional storage up front. Of course there are window coverings for privacy during the evening. And then the same style seat for the passenger. One of the appeals to this adjustable table is it can be used as a standing desk, an additional meal prep location, because it does move up and down with the aluminum extruded side pole that you can move up and down. It can be used as a laptop or workstation at sitting height for the passenger. But just a great multi-function swivel and adjustable galley extension or workstation. And so as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot as I want to take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil for you the complete walkthrough video experience for the all-wheel drive, all-season nimble van with touring coach storage and livability, the Winnebago Echo 22A, available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and named by the manufacturer of Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume for a single point location, across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award each year consecutively since 2015. Winnebago has also named our dealership as a Flying W Platinum Status Award winner for guest service each year consistently for over 30 years. Last year, across the entire RV industry, we were named the number two camper van dealer and number four class C dealer, competing across all RV manufacturers, even those beyond Winnebago Industries across all of North America. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford Transit powertrain in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manuals in which they recommend, if possible, do not tow during the first 1,000 miles avoiding driving too quickly, varying your speeds to seat the cylinders in that Ford EcoBoost powertrain, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, breaking in the new tires and braking for 300 miles, and changing up through the gears early and evenly, but varying those speeds to seat 
the cylinders in that Ford EcoBoost powertrain. Be the first to break in your new powertrain, sleep that first night in your twin bed flex bed setup, and eat that first meal in your factory fresh Winnebago Echo. Available here at Litson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of the Winnebago Motorhome Factory. Here are some great points from our team at Litson RV, unrelated to price, why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation of, or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees when purchasing an RV in the state of Iowa. You will always pay the tax, title, and license in the state in which you register your RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. We help people day in and day out from all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. At Litson RV, we have cost savings compared to other RV dealers. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We provide a complimentary thorough walk around of your RV with any RV purchase at the time of delivery. This orientation may be done in person or virtually if you prefer. This orientation is dedicated one-on-one -on -one time with a Litson RV Winnebago product expert and will take as much time as needed so that you can understand every function, switch, maintenance, and warranty items of your RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson RV, we want to make your stay with us as comfortable as possible. With our newly expanded campground, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filtered fresh water, and electrical hookups. This is available to guests taking delivery of their new RV or just passing through for a service appointment. We have two state-of-the-art guest lounge areas for your comfort where you can grab a cup of coffee and relax while enjoying your favorite show or use our laptop tables in our comfortable seating areas. And your pets are welcome to join you in the guest lounge and throughout the Litson RV dealership. We work with several different national lenders in order to secure you the most competitive rate and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best here at Litson RV, the nation's closest dealer to the Winnebago Motorhome Factory here in Forest City, Iowa. We look forward to providing you best of class experience for your parts, service and sales needs.